Mustang. Mustang. We need to watch the world burn. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And based on the title and thumbnail of this video, guys, you guys already know what's going down in this video. We have Rexy the WRX here, and we also have these amazing looking burnt quad tips that are gonna be going on the back of her. When I got this car, guys, it came with a Cobb exhaust uh, with a uh, resonator pretty much right below where the shifter is here. Um, and then it goes back to uh, quad tipped uh, cob muffler um, axle backs. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to be dropping it off at a uh, local performance shop here uh, and they're going to be chopping off the resonator for me. Uh, they're going to be taking out the back two mufflers, the axle backs, and they're going to be replacing them with these straight piped quad burnt tips. Uh, they are two and a half in, uh, three and a half out. So uh, they're actually a little bit bigger, I believe, than the tips that are currently on it, but it'll fit right up being the two and a half inlet. Um, and they look sick. They look so sick. When I opened these, I couldn't even believe it how, how amazing they look. But uh, anyway, guys, um, I had to start the intro of this video inside the car because as you can probably tell, it's raining right now. Um, but what we're gonna be doing is I already filmed a couple exhaust clips from outside of the car uh, with the current setup on the exhaust. So I'll go ahead and play that for you right now. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to start up Rexy here. Uh, we're going to take her down the road, get up to highway speed, uh, do a couple pulls and uh, put it into low gear and just get some in-car um, exhaust notes for you guys too before uh, we go ahead and do the cat back straight pipe that I have planned in this video. So um, we'll go ahead and get a cold start inside the car. Uh, the footage that you just saw was a cold start outside the car. So here's one inside. So not too bad, not too bad. Nothing too crazy, but uh, definitely no drone. Um, everything's just right out the back, but uh, still just a little bit quiet for my for my liking. Um, but that'll change by the end of this video, guys. All right, guys, so this is the first time I've tried out this kind of setup um, with the GoPro. Uh, that's one benefit to having the sunroof is I can actually pop you guys up there and uh, you guys could probably hopefully still see out the windshield, maybe see the gauges and the shifter and stuff. But uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and back her out and uh, get those exhaust notes for you. Yeah, see, it's like dead quiet once it gets down to about a thousand. grand shift a couple four grand shifts for you there's us going about 50 miles an hour at two grand
no inside drone at all. You can still hear the rain hitting the windshield. Um, you can hear yourself perfectly. You can hear the road. Uh, you can still hear, you know, like little water puddles that we're going through. Just too quiet for me. Too quiet for me. I'll go ahead for some downshifts. Yeah, it's definitely pretty quiet. And this is also with all the windows up, so keep that in mind. Um, but from driving with the windows just a little bit down, still don't really hear too much of a difference. What I'll actually do is I'll crack them since I have these little splash guards here um, on the windows. So we won't get any rain in the car, but uh, you guys will be able to hear the exhaust a little bit better. And then with me talking, you guys can probably also kind of pick up on camera how loud the exhaust is or how quiet the exhaust is. Um, because with me talking, the camera doesn't really pick it up, obviously, as good as it would in person. Um, but with me talking, you guys can kind of get a sense of like my normal room voice and how the exhaust would sound inside the car. So. Get up to we're up to highway speed. Right now we're going 70 miles an hour at just under 3,000 RPM. This will be a very interesting clip because I'll do a before and after of all of these clips and put them side by side for you guys so that you guys can really compare how quiet this car currently is to, at the end of the video, how loud it's gonna be with a straight pipe and these amazing looking tips. Like, I can't, I can't get over it. It looks so good. Cop exhaust does pop a good amount. I do like the sound of it. It's just a little too quiet. So, here we go. We'll do first gear pull. 20 miles an hour, 20 roll. So yeah guys, right there, a little 20 to 85. Um, still pretty quiet. That was redlining all the way at 6,500 RPM. And, uh, Nothing too loud at all. Definitely quiet for my taste, but I'm dropping it off at the shop tonight. They're gonna be doing it tomorrow, so uh, see you in the next clip. Just be careful pulling in right here because it's they got like potholes. Well, they got it. Let's check it out. Let's look at the tips on the back. Oh man, dude. How you doing? How are you? Oh, that looks nice. That's cool. That's sharp. How's it going? It sounds really good. Does it? Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Those buddies with Subarus, and they don't sound anything like this. One. Really? Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's that's what I'm going for. So.
perfect. <laughs> is that? That is perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. What I've heard it sounds like. Dude, holy shit, I love this. <laughs> oh man, this sounds nice, dude. <laughs> oh man. I got so many potholes here. stuff in here but it's it's not it's comfortable that's nice it just sounds so aggressive out the back though i didn't know if it was gonna sound good or if it was gonna sound like shit i didn't know if it was gonna get real whiny or if it was going to uh i don't know just be too loud to where you can't do anything with it but this is perfect it is the perfect note still has that subaru growl to it um, I'm going to get some drive-bys and stuff. Uh, we're about to pull up to the house and uh, give you guys a comparison, but I love this. I love this so much, dude. This is, this is like, this is awesome. The pops are even louder. Right, guys so uh, it's been a couple days since I got the straight pipes on it and uh, I've been driving around I absolutely love it pretty much every single time you go to downshift into second gear uh, the car just pops like crazy and makes all kinds of noise um, and especially as you guys heard from those drive-bys uh, this thing just sounds amazing even from a distance like I was 
you know, a good probably quarter mile, half mile away from here. And it sounded like gunshots were going off from all the uh, pops and stuff that this exhaust makes. So you guys just saw the drive-by clips, so we're going to do some more in-car clips um, and, uh, you know, do a couple pulls, uh, do a couple high highway cruises at like 75 or so, and uh, just kind of give you guys an overall feel of what it's like inside the car. And then I also have the GoPro on the driver's side window, so you guys should be able to see uh, the tack uh, and the speedometer. Um, and also where I'm going uh, and then maybe even me shifting gears. So this could be a pretty cool uh, camera angle just testing it out. So uh, Yeah, let's close the door and get a cold start here cold start One thing that I did notice guys is uh, there's not too much of a difference um, in the lower rpms like when you go ahead and put the clutch in and it drops it below um, a thousand or so, uh, it's relatively quiet. Um, and that's nice because if you go by a cop or something like that and you know don't want to get ticketed, especially if he's having a bad day and just wants to be an asshole, um, pop the clutch in and you're chilling. So uh, let's back this out and uh, go for a little drive. popping already. There were some pops there. I love the pops. I love the pop sounds. Um, as you guys will see actually when I get up here, uh, if you downshift into third, it'll usually do it in third, but when you definitely go into second gear and uh, use the clutch just a little bit to help the RPMs come up, um, this thing pops like crazy and that's where you get those wild gunshot sounds like, uh, like you guys got from the drive-by clips. So we'll come up here and uh, do a couple little downshifts. Alright, so we'll go fifth to fourth. some pops and a second that is sweet I love this Casually cruising at probably quarter throttle and it still wants to pop and stuff but sitting at 2,000 rpms there's no drone no drone whatsoever in the car and I love that because I was that's the biggest thing that I was worried about was if uh, it made the drivability way way worse so we'll downshift a little bit and uh, get like a 40 roll in oh that was a loud one shift I shifted into fifth and it still popped damn dude I love that I love that that is so sick that's exactly what I wanted this car to sound like oh man dude is like the perfect cruising like sound for this car it is just like <laughs> oh my god Yep, 
There's Ticket the Mustang. We got my brother's Camino. We got the Eclipse. We got my grandpa's 40s Dodge pickup with a V8 in it and it's loud as shit. It's gonna be a donut machine and burnout machine. And then right here we got Rexy guys. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun filming it and got some cool camera angles. Uh, the car's really dirty right now, but next video it'll be all cleaned up for you. And uh, we got some cool stuff coming guys. I got headlights in the mail. I got a new wing for this car. Um, we just got the straight pipes on it. I got a new grill for it, new uh, front end logo with carbon fiber on it. And then I also have plans of painting this car too. So we have a lot of plans on the list. So leave a like, subscribe to the channel guys so you don't miss out on all this. And like I previously mentioned, at 1,000 subscribers, I'm dropping an insane racing video that features that Mustang over there taking on a Scat Pack Challenger. We did about three runs, got some crazy exhaust clips and just high speeds down in Mexico, obviously, and a whole lot of fun, whole lot of fun, and you guys don't want to miss out, but that's dropping right at 1,000 subscribers, so if you guys seen this video, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that, and I really want to drop it. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Thank you guys for watching and uh, just coming across this, and thank you guys for subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.